Hey guys, it's me, uh, Arkin Tricksmaster here, and uh, welcome to the tr uh, Tricksmaster Talks Talk. So, I'm going to tell you today how to get free internet on your Xbox. What does this mean? So, uh, if you didn't know yet, you have to pay uh, 90 bucks to get a Wi-Fi adapter for your Xbox, to get on Xbox Live and play with the friends. There's no built-in Wi-Fi on the Xbox, so if you're going to buy one, think about this. Don't get the PS2 though. I like the Xbox more. <laughs> okay, so how are we going to get internet on my Xbox without running a wire all the way from my modem to my Xbox? If your Xbox is far away from your router or whatever, just like mine, this is what you can do. It's called an ISC, an Internet Shared Connection. You can find a... So what this is, is it's basically your... L let me show you. Alright guys, so you have to, this is your, this is my Xbox right here, so get the Ethernet cord that comes in the box once you get to your Xbox. It's a short Ethernet cord, and this is a very handy and cheap way to get internet on the Xbox, like I just said. So plug it in on the Xbox end, and then take this end, and put this into the computer. Now the internet isn't just going to magically work on your Xbox now. There's a few steps required before uh, the internet works with this shared connection. One, your laptop must have Wi-Fi. That means you should be able to go on the internet from your, from your laptop, alright? If not, then you won't be able to do this, okay? Now there's a few ways to get internet uh, from a wire, right, to your Xbox. It could be with the laptop, there's some like plug-in things with the iPhones and stuff like that but that's a lot, a lot more tedious and um, it's a little more expensive this is the easiest way if you have a laptop with Wi-Fi now I'm going to show you what to do on your computer to make sure your Xbox can okay so you need to go to control panel uh, to get here you have to go on my computer and on the sidebar cl click control panel now if you have Windows Vista uh, there's a different way to do this, so check out the description on the right. Um, so if you're Windows XP, this is how you should do this. On the sidebar, if you're not in this view already, click whatever expanded view, so you are on this view. Now, you can see a bunch of things. Go to Network Connections, right there, the globe with the plug in it, and double click on it. So you should have a screen like this um... it shouldn't actually look exactly like this because my wifi is not working at the moment but i'm just showing this so it, it will work for you you should have wifi connected now go on over it and right click click on properties now you'll have the properties box go on go to advanced and here you see internet connection sharing check these two boxes all right I already have them checked, so that's why my internet works on my Xbox. Let's do that and click OK. Voila, you're done. Alright, if you got some sort of error and uh, this method has never worked for you before, then visit the link in the description. If this has been working, uh, and it just stopped working after you turn off your Xbox or your laptop, and now it isn't working, then follow these steps. The first and most important step, remove the Ethernet cable from your laptop. Number two, turn off your laptop. Number three, restart your router. Now number four, restart your Xbox. Five, turn back, turn your laptop back on. And number seven, once everything has loaded, everything will be fixed. By resetting everything, you're basically resetting all the connections. And this just links everything back together normally. And that's why this works. Thanks for watching guys. Stay subscribed to me for more Xbox news and tutorials and iPhone and tutorials. See you next time.